I'm Jeff, and this video is designed to help you learn more about your 2024 QX50. Thanks so much to Infinity USA for letting me have this press vehicle for the last week. I've really enjoyed it. Matter of fact, we've got a little down and dirty in it. I've got to return this one today, but I thought there was time for one more video because it's one thing to research and shop for your vehicles, but it's another thing to buy it and then needing to know more information can be kind of challenging because you've got your owner's manual, but how about a YouTube video? So I'm gonna show you inside, outside, some features that you'll probably use on a daily basis or at least a regular basis. And I'm gonna show you a couple tricks that kind of confused me, but I got it all figured out. You can use this video not only for the autograph trim, which is what this is, in slate gray, but you can use it for other trim levels like Pure and Lux and Sport and sensory because since this is the top of the food chain, the top of the trim level lineup, it'll have a lot more bells, whistles, gadgets, things like that. Yours might not include that, but I should be able to include just about everything that you'll need to know about your QX50. Does it have remote engine start? Well, yes it does. And you've got the intelligent key right here. Remote engine start is right here. To get this to work, the owner's manual says you have to be within 197 feet of your car. Let's get a little bit closer. We have to lock the doors and within five seconds, hit that remote start. And it works. Woo Next one is the power lift gate. Everyone likes a power lift gate, even if it's hands free. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. We'll do that. So here we go. We've got a power lift gate right here. You can hold it and open it just like that, it works no problem. There's nothing worse than when technology doesn't work for you. When it works against you, like in this case. Hey, why is it not working? Oh, the system's turned off. Where do we go for the remedy? Right here, see this button? Let's get that into focus. It's turned off right now. So we're gonna turn it on. So in the glove box, kind of hidden up in there, all up in this piece, that's where you go to figure it out. The fuel mileage here, 22 in the city, 28 in the highway, 25 combined. It does take premium fuel, so just keep that in mind that when you go to the pump, look for the 93, boom, right here, fill it up. If you get confused, it says premium unleaded fuel only. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one off for a second because I wanna show you where the blind spot warning is. It's gonna be right there in the side. There it is. So it lets you know when you're looking out that side view mirror, if it's okay to turn or to change lanes, I should say, then right here it says, uh-uh, it's lit up. That means there's somebody here. So if it's lit, don't go. I like, and I would expect on this vehicle to have four one-touch windows. So we just push that, push that, one touch, one touch, and they all go down with one touch. Very nice. 16 Bose speakers, including the metallic covers right here, on the tweeters, it looks great, it feels and acts great. I love Bose sound system, premium sound. Let's talk about this right here. It is quilted leather seats, very comfortable here. And this is so unique. It has a lot of unusual colors together that you might not expect. We see brown, see maple, power steering wheel. That's an easy one to figure out. Just up, down, all around, very nice. And I see ultra suede, look at that, blue ultra suede. And right here, it goes all the way up into the center compartment, which I have some cords, my mic's in there, and ultra suede on the headliners here. So you can write your name in it, all the way up, the pillars, the A pillar, the B pillar, not in the C pillar, C gets left out. Let's talk about the panoramic roof. So it opens up all the way, the visor does, showing light to everybody. Look at that visibility in this car, quite nice. And then look, it opens up, how far though? Okay, some vehicles where you've got a moonroof, if it only opens up that far, you just push it again and it goes all the way. This one here, it just stops here, which is fine. It's got the windscreen. Looks very nice up on top, doesn't it? The silver roof rails. What a beautiful day to have our pano roof open. There are basically two different kinds of lumbar support in a car. You'll see if it has arrows on the top and bottom, that means the lumbar roller goes up and down. 
if it's in and out, that means it extends and it retracts to give you more or less support. So push this one and it goes up maybe to more of your mid back. I think it probably stays a little low, but point is you can go up and down or sideways. It's a power driver seat on the driver's side, the passenger side. Try giving it a twist like this and it'll change the positioning. You can go straight up, but try twisting it and that'll move the seat back as well. The mirror adjustments, the steering wheel adjustments, and the seat for the driver are all controlled if you want to do memory seats. So we've got level one set, level two. You push the one and set, push the two and set, and we'll see if we can get this. You can see them moving all at the same time. And then let's push number one where I've got it set a different way. So that might be something you want to do too. It helps out if you're taller, if you're shorter, if you're smaller, if you're bigger. If you want your head up display, which is right here to show, we can turn it on and off. And this is the button right here with the eye with the car going da, 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 da. You can turn that on or off. I've got it off because I pushed that button. I've got it on. Then we're going to go down here and look for this, this. So we went to home settings, scroll through here, and we found the head up display. So you can adjust it up and down like that. If you can't see it, try pushing it up and down. You can rotate it and twist it. You can also adjust the brightness. Now, what I want to have on here, do I want driving assistance? Yeah. I want it to show speed limit sign? Absolutely. And navigation, that would be important as well. So I like having all that information and they show up right here while you're driving in a way that you're not distracted because you're looking at the steering wheel anyway. So why not get that information? If you've got that, you might not have to look down while you're driving. And this is kind of interesting because we have a bottom screen and we have a top screen. So how do we change our information? Here's what we do. Go to menu and then we want to find what we're looking for. So if you want information, if you want to set up your phone, just do it that way. And you have to set up the Bluetooth, turn on the Bluetooth. Driver assistance though, this is good safety features and you can customize whether you want these on or not. Traction control on and off. You just push the button. Do I want the blind spot warning? Do I want a blind spot intervention? The indicator, do I want it standard? Very bright, I like that. Do I want it on or off? So you can adjust those. Traffic sign assist, traffic sign assist. Do you want it to show the speed limit sign or not? Lane assist, do you want it to beep at you if you're going outside of your lane. And by the way, it sounds like a horn is honking at you like That's what it sounds like. So you think somebody's honking at you because you went outside your lane. So it might be a way to keep you in your lane. Intervention, do you want it to correct itself? Lane centering, do you want to keep it centered in your lane? These are all things. How about the emergency assist forward and backward? Do you want those settings on? Those are things that you have to decide yourself. I think it's great to have as many safety features on as possible in touch services how about this one right here the drive modes here we go we've got different drive modes how about sport standard and eco you want better gas mileage most of us know these but personal that could also be called custom do you want better gas mileage go with eco that's usually green standard purple i like that just normal driving more rapid acceleration you might hear it a little bit more go with sport but personal that's where you actually make those adjustments. So let's check that again. We go to menu and then infinity drive mode selector. So drive mode, here we go. How do you want the engine and transmission to be? Sport, eco, standard. I'm gonna put it on eco, I like that one. Steering, standard or sport responsive. And that's interesting. Active trace control, do you want that off or on? Do you want the eng active engine brake on or off and then you can reset it to just the default mode what else can i do connections so that's for our devices i deleted mine because i'm getting ready to end mine but here we go add new so you just add the phone that way turn on the bluetooth and it should ask you to pair 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 navigation what settings do you want what settings do you want and watch this look i'm twisting this and so it can zoom in. I'm at Apex Community Park right now. That's exactly where I am. It knows somehow, it, I feel like it knows me. So these are all navigation things. A lot of people don't even know 
what things they can use or what they would want to use. So look around in there, play around with it. Sound. Do you want to adjust the bass, the treble? That's how I like it. Balance it forward and backward. And then do you want the audio point and the center point on? Under clock, that's where we would adjust for daylight savings time if we wanted to. Like that. Do you want to customize your audio sources? Where you're getting your sound from. Okay. This. System voice. So when she gives you voice prompts, and I say she because I have it set for female, but you can easily change it to male. Do you like what I did there? The speech rate. Do you want them talking faster or slower? I like having the female voice, best match list, short prompts, initial voice prompts, on, off. And then we've got our system voice. Well, we did that one. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Let's keep going here. Comfort and convenience. Ambient lights. Do you, how bright do you want them? Along here, along here, under the seats. That's where you can see it. Do you want it on in the front or the rear? This is where you find these. Light off delay. How long do you want it to wait before the lights shut off when you get out? Remote engine start. Do you want it on or off? Auto unlock. When do you want it to unlock? The welcome light. Do you want that on or off? The sensing wipers. On or off. Answer back. So those are all things, trying to go through some of them a little bit quicker. What about the camera? Display settings, camera. Hey, look, we've got the camera right here. The around view. So let's put it into drive and then we'll go back. How about reverse? Reverse, 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 crisscross. Everybody clap your hands. I hope you all know that song. You've been to weddings. All right, look at this right here. As you're backing up, right here, the second set of greens, that is going to be 10 feet away. This is going to be seven feet away, the second one. This is about three feet away. The yellow, that means caution. You're getting a little close to something. Red is one and a half feet away. So be careful when you're getting close to that one because you just want to make sure. Do we want to change the view along the sides? Got that 360 camera. Let's use it. Which one do you want? I like the overhead. Now I think the resolution in here is not the best. It's fine for what it does and you can easily figure out where you are in a parking spot. A little bit more clarity maybe on the next refresh would be fantastic. How about some apps? Connections, vehicles help for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So those could be things that you wanna figure out more about. Others, climate. Do you want the steering wheel heater on or off? I want it auto. There we go, what language? Ooh, English, en français, espagnol, pick. Units, do you want the distance in miles, kilometers, temperature Fahrenheit, I assume that's Celsius, yep it is. There we go. So those are all things that you could find in here. So look around on this map to find what you want. Like a CD player, are you kidding me? That's nuts. Okay, cooled seats, right there. Heated seats, right there. Let's go to the climate. So now we can adjust it right here on our touch. If we want steering heater in sync, bye, 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 bye. Do you want to, if you have this off, if it's hot and muggy, you'll be pulling in air from the outside. I like to have it on recirculated air because it's the coldest one and that's air conditioning on. You can also adjust right here and right here. Temperature to 67. and it did adjust it. Switch over here if you want the steering assist on and off. Go to that. This is for the parking sensors, front and back. This is for your power lift gate. Just hold that down. Fog lights, and then auto, parking, and full on lights. Brightness, not so bright. I want it brighter. I like it brighter. Okay, do we have these mirrors that fold in? Yes, push that, push that. Excellent. Now, what kind of information can we get here? Well, we're going to use these little filing cabinets to go through and get our information. I just want to show you what's available. You just go across. You don't go down. This is turbo. It's a 2.0 liter variable compression turbo engine, and it gets 268 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque. Got some zip to it. Got a little bit of power. 
You just have to feel it out for yourself. But those are some things, and you just keep going across, going across, going across. I've been driving in a little bit more spirited to test out the acceleration, so that pulls my personal gas mileage down. And frankly, it does that always. But uh, for me personally, because I, I don't speed too much, but I get up to the cruising speed fast. So mine will be a little bit tweaked. Yours will be, I assume, better if you're just a normal average driver. Here we go. Look, there's where the fuel pump is. See that icon? That tells you what side your fuel door is on. That's for every car. So it's on the driver's side. So look at your car today and see if it has a little arrow. Occasionally, you'll see them over on the passenger side with cars. Some other things, we've got Homelink for garage door opener programming, the auto dimming rear view mirror. You put your sunglasses here, and then our lights are adjusted. So these would be off, light, light. Interesting. You can use your SOS button if you need it. Hopefully you never need it. This is for the lights will come on when the doors are open. This will be there on all the time. I like having the doors activate it. And we do have a slider function with the light right there. Here's the window sticker so we can learn about what an Infinity QX50 autograph has on it. If you get a lower trim level, it'll have maybe less features on it, less price too. Intelligent all wheel drive, all season run flat tires. Look at all these features. Nice. Look at all the safety features, pretty strong here. And then here's the pricing, 57.9. It has the accent package on the mirrors, the body side moldings, the front lip finisher. I'll show you those. The welcome light with the logo that comes down along the sides with the little infinity logo and then the aluminum kick plates. We saw those and the mats. Premium paint, 61.6. Here's the fuel mileage. And then safety ratings are pretty strong slate gray if you're looking for that accent package look what we do on the mirrors right here that is really cool i like that a lot and then along the body side moldings uh-huh and then the front lip finisher it's not dirt colored i was just driving in dirty road conditions dirty road look at that hood design is that not aggressive and sporty look at that that's crazy. I've actually enjoyed this for the last week. So thank you guys so much. I'm at Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook at Auto Jeff Reviews. I try to mix a little bit of fun into these car reviews because there's nothing worse than watching a boring car review, and I will not do that. Thanks, guys, so much. I really appreciate you all. Be sure to click the Infinity playlist if you like that brand or find my playlist to find the brand that you like. See you guys next time.